What is electromagnetic hypersensitivity? Electronic appliances produce electromagnetic fields, or EMFs. These devices include mobile phones and masts, Wi-Fi routers, Bluetooth speakers and smart meters, as well as power lines and even electric motors. Electromagnetic hypersensitivity, or EHS, is a physical reaction that people can have to these EMFs. The Scientific Consensus International Report, published in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences, confirms the view that EHS is a real, measurable neurological disorder supported by biological mechanisms and markers. As described in the report, EHS reactions can be short-term and long-term. Short-term symptoms include headaches, dizziness, nausea, memory loss, muscle pains, heart palpitations, anxiety, depression, and skin rashes. Long-term effects include cancer and infertility, along with neurological and cardiovascular harm. Short-term symptoms stop when the EMFs causing them cease, but long-term effects can be irreversible. Some people take years to link their EHS symptoms with EMFs, and an estimated 95% of people never do. There are four difficulties. Firstly, few people can feel EMFs. Secondly, reactions may not be immediate, but cumulative. Reactions can be delayed over hours or days as people become increasingly hypersensitive. Thirdly, the same type of EMF exposure can cause different effects depending on temperature, hunger, time of day, and humidity. Fourthly, cancers and genomic damage can take years to develop, although people with EHS may feel acute symptoms within or around cancer tissues affected by EMFs. All humans react to EMFs but there's a wide spectrum of sensitivity which has been known since the 1700s. About 20% of people do not react consciously, while 30% have specific conscious reactions such as sensitivity to EMFs from LED lights. About 1.6% of people are severely affected, and an estimated 0.65% are unable to be in their workplace unless accommodations are made. Some genetic haplotypes are nearly 10 times more common in people with EHS, Children are especially sensitive neurologically. Triggers of hypersensitivity include experiencing high EMF levels from phones, masts, smart meters, or Wi-Fi installations, along with certain viral infections and neurological conditions. To prevent EHS, people need a safe EMF environment with non-thermal limits, as recommended by the International Commission on the Biological Effects of Electromagnetic Fields and the Scientific Consensus International Report of 2021 by 32 leading experts.